What's up, friends? My name is Kevin Bisset, singer, songwriter, producer. I just released a new album, Giovanni. I recommend that all of you check it out. I think it's very good. And it kind of involved a growing up in terms of production for me personally. And I would like to explain one of the secret sauces, like one of the things that made Giovanni so good. And that is simplification. Too often in kind of the lower levels of pop and artistry and music, you'll hear songs that are just way overcrowded. They've just got so many elements in them that really aren't necessary and they kind of draw away from each other. And in Giovanni, one of my biggest rules was to not do that especially in the verses of the song. You'll notice in a song like Love You Till that in the first verse, there is only a bass, percussion, and vocals. And then in the chorus too, you're just getting vocals, bass, percussion. I keep the elements incredibly sparse and I keep my available instruments for the song very low. And that helps to bring more attention and clarity to the vocal. I'm not using necessarily any special techniques with EQ or compression to bring that vocal up. I'm making the vocal more clear because I'm taking away everything that could possibly compete with the vocal. Now, this might seem strange to some of you, and honestly, I feel kind of conflicted in saying this because I feel like it's one of my secrets. You know, I feel like I learned something really important through study and that I shouldn't just like kind of give it out. But the probability that you all follow this is actually pretty low because I've <laughs> worked with a lot of musicians and told them about this. And most of the time they're like, no, I, I don't want to do that. I want to have more going on in my verses. I'm like, okay. We're going to look a little bit at the most popular songs right now and we're gonna see how many elements they have in the verse. So first, the biggest song right now is My Universe with Coldplay and BTS doing a collaboration. Listen to the verse of that song. In the night, Do you notice you. anything about what's happening while the vocal is going on in the, in the verse? And your answer should be very little. You've got drums, bass, and then guitars come in at the end of the vocal. They work as kind of the space between. They're not interfering with the vocal, right? You look at Drake, who's the two and three, or two or four, where well, it, it depends on which chart you're looking at, right? He's got drums, bass, vocal, and normally he has one synth, one pad, whatever it is, he just has one. And the whole high end of that thing is taken away to give room for his vocal. And his vocals are so clear. It's ridiculous how clear his vocals are on his tracks. And that's why, that's why. He just makes sure it doesn't get in the way. Look at Industry Baby. What are the elements on Industry Baby? You've got the horn section, you've got the bass, you've got the drums, you've got the vocals, that's it. I blew up, man, everybody He's not adding anything else. Nos, but the hood right? And a lot of the times, his vocal is dancing around the horns. Sometimes the horns and vocals are going on at the same time, for sure. But a lot of time, they're kind of dancing. Keeping the elements super sparse super sparse and still sounds really interesting it still is like a great musical song stay kid Leroy, justin bieber what's going on there wake up and waste it. i'll tell you what's going on drums vocals synth bass that's it you got that cool little synth line you got the bass you got the drums you got the vocals and that's it and that synth line is is kind of like playing off the vocal you know it's not getting in the way they're complementing each other there's nothing to compete here. We aren't having an overcrowded song. Look at like the big BTS songs of this year. Drums, vocals, bass for that freaking verse, man. The latest twice song, K-pop again. Drums, vocals, bass. That's what you got in the verse. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Like when I realized it, like how many songs stripped down to drum, vocal, bass. Let's go back to last year. Let's look at the top 10 songs from last year. First off, you got Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Look at the verse on that song. That synth is kind of dropping out a lot of the time that vocal's coming in. He's using some compression to bring down that synth. There's only one synth. Besides that, it's just drum and vocal and bass. That's it. Just drums, vocals, and bass. Circles, Post Malone. We couldn't turn around. What is the verse? Are there instruments on the verse? For most of the verse, no. Besides bass and drums, 
No. It's just vocals, bass, drums. Vocals, bass, drums. VBD. Stop getting in your head that guitar is the most important part on a song. Or that, you know, your synths are the most important part of the song. The box. Roddy Rich. He's got that little synth thing. Then the drums, vocals, bass. That's it. It's like a going on in the verse. Synths might change up, but there's just like a few core elements at a time. Memories. Just strip down, way down. That song's just guitar and vocals for the majority of the song. Not even that much percussion. Someone you loved is just a piano vocal song. Listen to Do Lipa Don't Start Now and tell me that there is much more going on than drums, vocals, bass for 90% of that song. Even the chorus, even the verse. There's just like a little pre-chorus that has a synth thing. When everything else drops out, it's just synth vocal, right? And that comes back, drums, vocals, bass. Don't show it's so crazy. It's so mind-blowing. It like blew my mind when I realized it. I just started listening to all these songs I loved. It started when I was listening to Jack's Mannequin, actually. They're kind of a piano-based band, I thought. And then I listened to their verses, and some of their verses don't have any piano. It's just drums, vocals, bass, and then the piano comes in on the chorus. Or if the piano's there, it's like super low in the mix. It's so, it's so wild to me. And it makes your song sound louder. There's not everything kind of competing with each other. Rhythm guitars, cut them out 90% of the time. You're just going to cut them out of that verse. They don't have a place there. If I had a band that I was in complete control of right now, I would have drummer, bass, vocals, right? And then a guitarist just to like add little riffs on like maybe the chorus and maybe like in between. And then it cuts out. And it's back to just drum, bass, vocals. Drum, bass, vocals. Look at all my songs on Giovanni. All those verses are very drum, vocal, bass centric. One exception, Broken Butterfly. That song, the first verse is piano vocal. But then when it gets to the second verse, drums, vocals, bass again, with just some little, little things to like brighten up the in-between zones. That's it. The main zones are just drum, vocal, bass to make room for the vocal. I've said drum, vocal, bass enough and drum, bass, vocal enough for one video. Yeah, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit me up if you want to. Catch you on the flip. I could settle down, take a load.